What's good YouTube? We are back with another video the OEM Plus YouTube channel. Still, we still in this G80 project. Um, like I said, lots of things happening with this. Please check out the previous videos where I installed the front lip, installed the titanium uh, intakes and strut bars from RK Titanium. And then today we're going to continue with some more carbon goodness. Again, from the guys over at RW Carbon, we're going to be installing fins in the front. I was a little hesitant about this mod. Um, still a little hesitant, but you know, I like to take risks with this car. You know, even with the matte PPF, that was a, a was a bit of a risk, and it paid off. So let's continue that trend. So we're gonna put these on, and hopefully, you know, it turns out the way that I envision. And you guys like it, or you don't like it, I don't care. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think so far. And let me know what you think of the car. Um, yeah, it's gonna continue to drop this uh, this content for you guys. I got a, I got a lot of things coming in, and we'll be working with a lot of people as well. So, um, so yeah, again, shout out to the, to the crew at RW Carbon, awesome company to work with, awesome products, fast shipping, just top notch customer service. Can't can't speak uh, highly enough about those guys. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so here they are, pretty straightforward, um, two fans, one's the bottom one here, and then this one goes up top, already pre-installed with tape, good, um, the main thing is prepping the surface, so being that I do have a temporary coating on this uh, mat PPF, I will definitely put some alcohol on there and try to get that as prepped as possible, so the key is definitely going to have to be to make sure I you know, keep pressure on the uh, adhesives, so then that way everything is just, you know, good to go. So, yeah, it should be pretty good, should be pretty easy to install, just gotta, you know, keep my, uh, my alignment straight and make sure, um, you know, everything is straight and not crooked and looks stupid, because I don't want to take this off and it be an issue. Stay tuned. So what I'm gonna do so that it's even. So what I tried to do was kind of line up these, you know, so that they run kind of parallel. 
So it picks up that line there. So, because this lines up right with the here, and you just kind of put it at the corner here. So it's like boom at the corner. Then it, you know, it pretty much lines up. So this is easy to gauge. The hard part is trying to figure out how to have this um, this one up here set to where it's not like out of place. So I lined it up with this fin and that fin kind of following the same angle. And so what I'm gonna do is measure the distance between here and here so that I can see, you know, so that it's similar on the other side. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And that is it. Super simple install. I should like it. Um, I'm eager to see how it looks like when I pull it out and get a full angle shot. I couldn't really get a good shot because I got all these cars in front of me right here in the driveway. So all good there. Um, like I said, super easy to install. Hopefully, you know, you guys, you know, if you ever thought about getting canards and you wanted to know how to install them on a G80, now you know. It's not that hard. You just got to take your time, measure, triple measure. Because, um, yeah, once you start to stick it, you know, you don't want to be trying to pull that 3M tape off. But let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you, if you like the canards, if you think it's a good look. I think it works well. I'm um, going with the whole DTM styling for this car. So I got other parts that are DTM inspired. So, again, hope you like it. And stay tuned for the next one because it's going to get even more and more wild. Sneak peek. Yeah, it's like that. Peace.